Hey guys, it's Joshua D. Um, today I'm going to talk to you a, a bit about how to record both the record out from your XDJXC as well as the record out at a slightly lower volume from something called the deck send and return, which doesn't include the microphone. So this is a trick that you can build out using software tools on the Mac called Loopback, Audio Hijack Pro, and then you can get the final editing in Fission, all of which are made by Rogue Amoeba. And I'll put the link to that in the description. Um, so just going right into it, the thing that you need to actually keep in mind, and this is true for both Windows and Mac, is that the XDGXC has channels both input and output. The input channels 5 and 6 on the XDJXZ are for your record out, which includes the microphone input from your mixer. But, but the channels 7 and 8 actually don't include that microphone input. In fact, it's a little bit lower decibel as well, making it much easier for you than to normalize the volume for your podcasts later so you don't have to blow out your speakers trying to get that really good maximum quality output. So let me go into how I built this. All right, so the way that you basically set this up is that you need to go into your loopback application. You set up two virtual interfaces. One is the mic free record out, and then the other is the record out with the mic, which I just named record out. <laughs> um, so basically you set up the source here by clicking the plus, and then you choose your XDJXZ uh, from the list. It's already in there, so you won't see it uh, in mine, but uh, you will see XDJXZ if it's plugged in with USB. And then what you'll wanna do <clears throat> is you'll want to then use these little buttons on the, on the right-hand side to connect to the output channels. So these output channels are virtual outputs. Um, so you're gonna take this button, you're gonna click it, and you're gonna drag to the respective output. So channel five is the left channel, channel six is the, is the right channel. So you're gonna do that here. <clears throat> and then you should see those pop up. Um, but I've done this the wrong way now. So let me, <laughs> let me delete those. So the way you delete them is you do a uh, command and then the delete key. Um, so let's do the right ones now. So this is the mic free record output. So we're gonna use channels seven and eight. So we're gonna go seven and eight. All right, and then we go back to our record out and the record out is the one with the microphone input. So you're gonna do five and six. So now that's set up, so now we're gonna go over to our, our, our audio hijack application and you're gonna create a new session. I've already set my session up here for the sake of time, but basically what you've done, you, you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to have one input device, one each for the inputs that we've set up in loopback. So uh, our XDJXC record out and the mic free record out and then you'll connect those with two recorder outputs. So the recorder outputs record the audio into a WAV file. All right, so the WAV file here, it's a 16-bit 16, uh, 16 WAV file uh, with a stereo output. And then I've added the file name extension with mic for the one with the record out. And I've done without mic, or no mic rather, for the one with no mic output. Now, <clears throat> do keep in mind that these files are going to be different in the sound levels. Okay, one is going to be um, slightly lower than I would say about 10 to 15 decibels lower. Um, and the reason this is, is because these seven and eight channels are actually used for deck send and return. So if you have a remix deck by Pioneer and you wanna do remix effects and things of that nature, that's the way that you would send them out and then get them back in again. <clears throat> so, um, so one way you could possibly do this automatically so you don't have to do this every time I don't necessarily recommend this, but you could use uh, one of the advanced, um, sorry, not advanced, the built-in filters here. You could actually increase uh, the volume on this guy by adding a volume uh, thing here. So you can actually do 2X and maybe bring it up to 200%. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would do that in post-production, but that's one way you could do it if you, if you really wanted to. <clears throat> so I'm gonna delete that guy here, put this back here. Okay, so now we're ready to record. So I'm gonna record a 16 bar loop with my voice over it and then let's see how it sounds, okay? Start record. Hey guys, it's Joshua D. Thank you so much for joining today uh, for Waypo Wednesdays on Twitch. Every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Twitch.tv DJ Joshua D. All right, so now we've got that sample, and so let's go ahead and look at our recordings. And you can see I've tried a few today. <laughs> so let's check the ones at 1:41, which is what time it is now. All right, so this right here is the one with no mic, and let's look at the one with mic first. Okay. All right, so let's open this up here actually and fish. All right, so let's see how that sounds now. Okay. Start record. 
Hey guys, it's Joshua D. Thank you so much for joining today uh, for Wepa Wednesdays on Twitch. Every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Twitch.tv DJ Joshua D. Start record. All right, so that's how that sounds. All right, so now let's open the one with no mic and we should not hear my beautiful voice. <laughs> Here we go. Nada. <laughs> All right. So notice how I told you before, this is not going to have, this is going to be where your post-production happens. This is basically um, your leveled down uh, output. So if I was this, this was, this was, if this was a podcast, I would go ahead and normalize this output here. Perfect, right? All right. So that is how you get your mic and your no mic. And I hope this helps. Uh, for some of you who are looking to, um, you know, go on Twitch live and also create some amazing podcasts to remember for a long time. All right. Thanks, guys. See you on Twitch.